Hey guys, in this video, we are going to integrate Cypress with Cucumber and gonna leverage Gherkin's given when and then syntax. So this is the project that I've created and you have all the code files available in this GitHub repo. Now, beside the code files, you also have the instruction to add Cucumber support in your existing Cypress project, all right? So let's get started. So I already have the project ready in my Visual Studio code. I'm gonna go through these instructions and show you what all things you are required to do, okay? So let's start first with the application. So this is my application. This is my first login page, okay? So you enter the username, password, hit on the submit button. Now you are on the home page, okay? Now on this home page, these are the few elements then you click on this to do list link that opens up another page when you can enter these to do's okay fair enough so we have login page we have home page and we have to do page so what i've done is i've created this pages directory inside integration and in here i have created the pages for these respective web pages now what's different this time the only thing that is different is i have implemented the singleton pattern this time how do you implement singleton pattern in javascript this is how you do it so you say hey if there is already an instance of this home class just use it okay do not create a new instance of home class that way is we're going to use the memory efficiently all right so let me close this so beside pages you have these feature files and you also have the spec file so in here you see we write code like this but what all things do i require to be able to use this because as you could see in here at the top i'm importing given when then and from cypress cucumber preprocessor steps so yes this is the plugin that we have to download okay now for that you go to cypress plugins in the preprocessors you find this cucumber once you run this okay it's going to add this module as a dev dependency to your project now guys you might be working on javascript or typescript right so the steps would differ slightly okay so first we are going to cover the javascript steps so open your cypress plugin index.js just copy this whole thing okay and put that into plugins index.js now add support for feature files to your cypress configuration by adding the following in cypress.json okay so if you do not have this setting what you normally see is the spec files okay with the extension js or ts okay when you open the cypress runner you see those files but now after bdd implementation you want to see the feature file you want to click on the feature file and then you want to execute the respective feature file all right so for that you have to add this in your cypress.json okay so meanwhile so i'm gonna say npm run test open let's open this okay and what was the step we had to do we had to add this in the cypress.json so again copy this open your cypress.json guys right and add this thing in here once you do so you open your cypress and you would be able to see the feature files okay though you have guys you also have the spec files okay in this project so under integration you have the respect these folders home login and to do okay and under this folder you have the respective spec file okay but those are not being shown because you are saying that hey look out for the files which have got the extension feature okay. now i'm gonna close this go back to the documentation and what it says configure the plugin now we have added the plugin right to provide us that gherkin support so we, now we have to configure the prop plugin to use the cypress cucumber preprocessor style pattern for placing step definition files by adding the following in package.json now a feature file will have this syntax okay you have given when scenario and all these are the keyword now important thing is if you do not see 
the keyword being highlighted in these different color formats you need to add an extension and the extension that you have to add is so you have to say cucumber and this one when and then these are the steps now these steps are defined so we are in login feature you open the login folder and need that we have login.spec so we have these steps defined in here okay so with the help of that we are setting up the relation john so we open package.json and you can add it anywhere so guys ignore this for a minute okay so this is what you have to add okay this is what is being shown in here all right but i leave this part as well for now this is something that we are going to use for generating the html report now, if working on TypeScript, like I said, then you have to install these. I hope you're working on TypeScript or TypeScript is already added as a dependency, but you also need to do this, okay? If not already done. Now add the following code in Cypress plugin index.js. So uh, we added this much for JavaScript, but for TypeScript, you have to add this and this as well, and this is additional line. All right, so copy all of this and put that uh, in your plugin index or JS. All right. So what all different things we are going to cover in this project. So by no means guys, this project is covering the complete cucumber. Rather, it is only scratching the surface. So topics covered here are how to organize the test. It's very important. Please pay attention. So you have to put all your feature file in the Cypress integration folder. Like I have done. So under integration, I have all my feature file. Okay. Now, you have to create one folder in Cypress integration for each feature file with the exact name of that feature file. Why? Because the dot feature file will use step definitions from a directory with the same name as your feature file. And hence for home, I created home folder for login feature. I created login folder and for to do feature, I created to do folder. Then the JavaScript TypeScript files containing the step definition can have other name if you want to break them into different concerns. Under these folders, I have got this home.spec.js, login.spec.js and todo.spec.js. So let's open the home.feature guys. So the first keyword that you see is feature. So this is the name of the feature and this is the feature description. Then we talk about different scenarios inside a feature you can have multiple scenarios okay so this is again the name of the scenario and then these are guys the steps okay so we have given when then and and these are my different steps okay now what is this background so the purpose of background is rather than repeating these steps at each of the scenarios okay because otherwise this is what you are going to write so so this is what you have to say, okay? Given user is logged into the application, when navigated the home page, then check this, okay? Same way, we are checking the login button is enabled, but for that, user has to log into the application and navigate to the home page, okay? So therefore, instead of writing it like this, we use background scenarios, okay? Fair enough. So now if you have to write the spec file for this, okay? So this is my home page, guys. So we open the home.spec.js okay so what are we doing in here for every step okay for every step we are creating its definition okay so if this is my step given when the user is logged into the application i'm saying given this has to match with this okay and then you're writing the callback and in here guys see what i'm doing i'm using the login via api session so again if I, you have not watched my cy.session video please go and check that out so i'm making use of it this is how i'm gonna log in programmatic to my application using the api and then in the when i'm visiting the home page okay and after that this is the thing now we are checking so we are saying header okay must contain the value qa box let's test but where this qa box let's test so in here you see an expression okay so this value okay is coming from your home dot feature okay you have wrapped that into double quotation so whatever value that you enter inside this will be feeded to this okay so rather than making it hard coded you are supplying the value from your feature file so this is how you can do it okay so then i move on to this is about the parameter type string okay what about the number so we also have one example so now we open login dot 
feature okay and in here right if you are providing the valid username and password okay you are gonna get 200 as the status code okay of the login api that you hit and if you provide the invalid credentials you're gonna get 401 okay so whatever value that is being in here okay i want to pass that value to my step definition so in here guys what are we saying instead of string we are saying int okay and then we are receiving that value from our feature file okay and this is what we are doing okay now let us look at the to do dot feature because in here we are also making use of data tables okay so this is how you do it so we are clicking on this to do list and then in here we are adding multiple to do's and that data is something that we are passing from the data table okay so we read the data table okay by passing in this argument in here and we say data table dot hashes is the method that we have to invoke then we have to say for each all right and this is how we get access to one row okay and then guys in here as you could see i'm using the page object model as well okay so this is how i'm creating multiple to do's so we have covered feature file we have covered definition file usage expression and parameters data types background scenarios all right usage of uh, tags okay now while executing your automation solution you know you just want to let's say execute the smoke test cases so you tag those scenarios okay with smoke okay how do we do that so let's look at this so i have tagged some as qa box okay in here you see this is how i tag it and if i have to execute this okay if i want to execute only the scenarios which are tagged with this qa box i show you how you do it you open package.json guys and in here you see the entry so you say test qa box this is a script that i have to uh, add in here and then you say npx cypress dash tags run okay and then you say dash dash e and we and just use this exact syntax okay in here you are saying execute the scenario with this tag and not this tag okay you can also use the and and or combination like so so i have covered all these examples in here all right so that's about tag page object model we have already covered and i've already talked about the singleton pattern now guys it's time to add the html reporting capability and we are also gonna see how we can add the screenshot of fail step so we're gonna use the same plugin that we have added which is cypress cucumber preprocessor because this plugin generates a cucumber.json file as an output now this output file contains the result of all our feature file execution and using this json file only we are going to generate an html report okay so to make the cucumber plugin generate a json file output we need to make some changes to our cypress cucumber properties since we already have Cypress Cucumber preprocessor plugin configuration added in here, okay, you now need to add this one as well, okay. So in here, what are we saying? Generate the Cucumber JSON report. What is the output folder? So inside Cypress, you're gonna create one more folder report, and this is where you're gonna put this file, okay. Now this is step number one. Now step number two is from this JSON output, okay, generate the HTML report. So for that you require the module Cucumber HTML reporter. Now at the root of your project you need to create one JavaScript file which is gonna read the JSON file and create an out HTML report from it. Okay, so you create one file at the root of the project and paste this code now what this code is doing okay so first we are importing that module and that module contains this generate method which takes in this you know object and this object you are mentioning where your json file is okay which is being exported by or created by the previous plugin then you are mentioning where you want to generate the html report and some metadata that you want to pass in here okay this is the file that I'm talking about. It is at the root of the project. So you just need to copy the code and paste it in here. All right. Then what next? Well, I have copied this code from this particular location. So thanks Dean. This is very helpful. So we open Cypress support index.js. 
all right if you're working on ts then it's going to be index.ts you just copy this code as it is all right and add that in cypress support index.js now with the help of this code guys you will be able to attach the screenshot of fail step in your cucumber html report all right so open cypress support index.js and in here you have this after each hook added okay we are pretty much done now the command that you have to run is npm test okay so i'm gonna close this session because we don't want to work in the headed mode anymore so we need to say npm test okay so when i say npm test this is going to run the scripts okay or, or if this fails meaning if there are any failed test cases then we are also going to execute this one because in here we are generating the html report okay so this is how you have to generate the html report so you just have to say a node and you have to write the name of the file in which you have written the code to convert the json into html okay and this is my pre-test script as you could see so all i'm doing is i'm just cleaning up the all the reports generated from my previous run okay and i'm gonna run it on the browser chrome all right so let us hit enter fingers crossed hope we are able to generate the cucumber html report containing the screenshot of fail steps there are three feature files eight scenarios in total seven are getting passed one is getting failed so yeah this is the one that should be failed and you see the reason now the report folder is created you have screenshots as well all right great so let's wait for it to be completed all right so let's open the report so you have this report folder and then you have index.js i do a right click and open that in the live server all right so this is my report it looks good right so there are three feature files two are passed one is failed and same way like you know there are seven past scenarios one failed great so this one is being failed so i open this particular one all right now in this scenario they are multiple steps okay so this particular step is being failed and now if you see you have show error you click on that and you see exactly the same thing okay so we were expecting this but on the ui qa box let's test was there not hey qa box let's test all right makes sense now if you look at the screenshot guys that is also attached okay and you could clearly see that on the screen at that point of time it was qa box let's test and not hey qa box let's test okay so this is the report containing the screenshot for the fail step okay so this is how guys you can add cucumber to your existing project okay and this is a public project so you can refer to this at any point of time all right so i hope you like this thanks for watching